we have an amazing math question to solve okay now most of us can get the value of x but can you actually prove that the answer you got is correct which is the main reason of doing this video so watch to the end and see how we do that thanks so much for watching now let's start they have three to the power of x in common right let's factorize that out when this divides this we have one when this is divided by itself we have one this divided by itself we have one is equal to 20. so this same thing as three to the power of x multiplied by three is equal to 20. divide both sides by three three to the power of x multiplied by three divided by three is equal to 20 divided by three three we divide itself and we have one one times three to the power of x is three to the power of x is equal to 20 divided by three now anytime you are solving mathematics and your power is your variable the only way to find your variable is to introduce log or a length okay to both sides of the equation so let's introduce log to both sides if we do that we have log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 20 over 3 log a raised to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by log a and log a divided by b is equal to log a minus log b so we are going to apply these two laws now okay all right so if this is the first time you have seen us please click the subscription button and turn on your notification bell give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video turn it at your convenience there must be something new for you to watch by god's grace okay thank you so we have x log 3 is equal to log 20 minus log 3 divide both sides by log 3 okay so we have x log 3 divided by log 3 is equal to log 20 minus log 3 divided by log 3 now log 3 we divide itself we have 1 1 times x is x is equal to log 20 let's distribute the denominator divided by log 3 minus log 3 divided by log 3 we have x is equal to now 20 can be expressed as 4 multiplied by 5 log 4 multiplied by 5 divided by log 3 minus 1 because when this divides itself we have 1 now we need to clean more spaces so that we have enough space to solve this we are going to prove that the answer we got is correct so i'd like you to watch to the end to see that okay yeah i use double of this because the first one is a bit wet why this will help me to clean up everything if not i'll have black patches all over the board so we have x is equal to log now log 4 multiplied by 5 is the same thing as log 4 plus log 5 divided by log 3 
minus one. So let's distribute the denominator. X is equal to log four divided by log three plus log five divided by log three minus one. Okay, so, but 4 is the same thing as 2 squared, okay? 4 is equal to 2 squared. So, we can write x is equal to log 2 squared divided by log 3 plus log 5 divided by log 3 minus 1. All right. <laughs> now we have x is equal to this two will come down to multiply log two, okay? Two log two divided by log three plus log five divided by log three minus one okay so we can write this as remember that log a divided by log b is equal to log a base b so we can write this as x is equal to two log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. And this is the value of our x. <laughs> yes. Now, let us prove that this is actually correct, which is the main reason behind this video. Okay? If you are just joining us for the first time, I want to say you are highly welcome to the family. Please subscribe to this family and become a member for more exclusive videos, okay? All right. Now, we want to prove that the answer we got is correct. Remember, we simplified this as 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of x, right? Is equal to 20. So, I want to use this because I don't want to put this is a whole lot, right? Put it here, here, and here. It's going to take a lot of spaces and it's going to take us more time. So let's use this um, simplified version of this. So we have 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of, this is our x, 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1, okay? Now, is this actually equal to 20? Now, let me clean this side to avoid confusion. Okay. Now, we have 3 to the power of, 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of, now, this will go up to become the power of these two, right? So, we have log 2 squared base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1, okay? Is this actually equal to 20? 3 into 3 to the power of log 4 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Is this actually equal to 20? Now, I want us to remember this law of log reading that states that is an exponential law, sorry. Law of exponent that states that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m 
multiply by a to the power of n and um similarly a to the power of m minus n is equal to a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n okay so we are going to apply these two laws and use them to prove that the answer we got is right so let's do that here so we have three open bracket so this is plus so it's going to be this to the power of this multiplied by this to the power of this so we have three to the power of log four base three multiplied by three to the power of this now divided by It's going to be division because this is what subtraction. So divided by three to the power of one. Is this actually equal to 20? Yeah, see why I said that the main reason of shooting this video is not to get the value of x, but the, to prove that the answer we got is right. Because that is the most amazing aspect of this video. Okay? All right. Now... 3 to the power of 1 is 1. is 3, sorry. So we can say 3 will divide itself. So we're actually left with 3 to the power of log 4 base 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of log 5 base 3. Now is this actually equal to 20? Now there is this law of log reading that states that a raised to the power of log b base a is equal to b okay so that means that we can write this as since this and this are equal so the whole of this is four the same thing will happen here. The whole of this is 5. Is this actually equal to 20? Now, 4 times 5 is 20. So we have 20 is equal to 20. And that proves that the answer we got is right. Thanks so much for watching.